When I listen to the songs and choruses that I used to sing every Sunday for the whole of my young life, I find that very, very moving. I can be almost moved to tears by army music. This is my father's Salvation Army cap. Uh, I'm not qualified to wear it, but I will. When you've grown up in the army like I did, and when your parents were officers, ministers, and so you lived and breathed the army, you can stop going to the meetings, but you don't stop having a Sally inside you. I think that affects my values, but it also affects my musical tastes. I am a real sucker for a brass band. Hi, brass. <laughs> Ross Gittins taught me the cornet 50 years ago in Newcastle and Merriweather. This is the Salvation Army Hall in Glebe. I have to admit that I've never been in it before, but I can assure you that I've spent many hours of my young life in halls exactly like this one, because they were the kind of halls that my father had when he was in charge of various small army churches all around New South Wales and Queensland. There was a time when I wanted to be like my father, a Salvation Army officer in charge of corps like this. And I was convinced I could do it a lot better than he could. And then I realised that wasn't exactly the right calling to have to become a minister of religion. My parents were pretty otherworldly. I can remember once when I was talking about what profession I might follow, my mother said to me, it would be good for you to be a carpenter. Jesus was a carpenter. In the end, I think my father and mother were very proud of me. In fact, I'm pretty sure that in his very last years, my father went round assuring people that I was the editor of the Herald. You could say that my mission in life is to make boring, complicated economics simple and understandable. And if you look for the values that uh, seem to guide the subjects I write about and the things I say about them, it's not hard to see my army background. My parents were very loving, but they were also fairly strict. And they had a long, rather old fashioned list of things that they didn't think you should do because it was worldly. Now, most of the things on that list didn't worry me, but one of them did. And that was, they didn't think you should go to the pictures. When I got to university, I started sneaking off on Wednesday afternoons. People at the Herald will tell you that nothing much has changed except the day. I don't sneak off on Wednesday afternoons, I sneak off on Tuesday afternoons. That in the old days I'd see one movie and these days I see two or three. I can remember being very embarrassed when my father would turn up at my school wearing this strange uniform. And when you're a young kid, you feel that you're set apart from ordinary people. You don't feel normal. I think that not being part of the gang probably made me a bit more ambitious than most to demonstrate to the world that I was someone important or I was someone that should be noticed. The army seems to be a lot smaller than it used to be. And the reason I think that is, like a lot of people, I like to go back and look at the houses that I used to live in. I can go to where they used to be and the hall's gone and so is the house. And I find that's true of most of the 13 houses that I lived in. They just disappeared.